Greetings everybody. Finally a lovely day here in Tokyo after an uber long rainy season. It's not over yet but we got a short break and I am riding out to Tachikawa today. <laughs> Hop on! I'm on the scooter today, if you haven't figured that out yet. And this is the part where people get squeamish. Yours truly included. Ooh, that was tight. That was tight. All right, yeah, let's see these trucks. They don't give me much space. Courtesy. Can you guys just kind of like shave a few inches off of your cab and your whatever you call it the thing you pull in the trailer so we're heading into the Yamate tunnel and uh, we'll pop out onto the Chuo expressway out to Tachikawa the pandemic induced traffic free days of the past are no longer makes me want to cry can't we have pandemics more than once every hundred years just for traffic's sake? Usually I get over into the PVG lane, which we will momentarily. But I also like to kind of share what this perspective is flying between the car, especially these trailers like right now. Woo! Yeah, it's a thrill. Okay, then you get people that just suddenly dart out into the other lane. That makes my job very dangerous. So we're going to get over into the PVG lane. It's hilarious. As soon as you pass the speed uh, cameras back there, traffic opens up. Magically, the traffic disappears. You may have noticed along the side of the tunnel here, they have these misters, but it cools off the tunnel. And trust me, this tunnel needs cooling off. It's multiple degrees different inside than it is outside. Leaving the birth canal, yes. Back into the sunshine. The great outdoors of Tokyo. Right off to our left, you can't really see, but that's Nishi Shinjuku right over there to the left. That's a government building. Probably can't see over that wall. So this is the Shuto Expressway. We're heading west. And this will run right into the Chuo Expressway, which we will ride out to Tachikawa. We'll actually get off at Kunitachi. I've been watching The Last Dance. I'm sure some of you have seen that. It's a great documentary about uh, the goat and the, uh, the the bulls and what a dominant force they were as a team with Scotty Pimpin and and the goat Dennis Rodman but it's a really shocking to see how these dudes have aged Michael Jordan Scotty Pimpin's got these chompers and then Big Bird man Larry Bird father time opened a big can of whoop ass on Larry Bird. Jeez. Rodman, he hasn't changed at all. When I was a youngster, I was a big Portland Trailblazers fan, of course, because I'm from Portland. And they had a kick arse team in the early 90s. Clyde the Glide, Drexler, Jerome Kersey, Buck Williams, Cliff Robinson. They were kicking it, man. And they went to the NBA championships a couple times. But at that time is when the Bulls were really kicking it. I think they won five championships. Portland's won one championship. It was back in the mid 70s. I think it was 76, might have been 77. But I remember as a small boy, when this happened in Portland, my dad, we were watching it on TV. And when we won, he just went bananas. And he got in his car and went downtown to celebrate with the masses. And boy, did he celebrate. When he finally made it back home, the ass of his trousers was ripped out. God knows how that happened. 
where he went. There were some nefarious neighborhoods in Portland at that time. And through the electronic toll gate. And I'm gonna pull over here behind these guys and turn on my GPS. Don't look at the password. You're not gonna look at the password and then try to hack my phone. What you're seeing, it's not what you're seeing. We'll be there in 28 minutes to the Kunitachi Fuchu exit. You can see right there. See how I have this band? This is a Rams, Rams mount. Total crap, man. Without this band, I, I put this band on here to keep extra tension on the mount because the iPhone just went flying and destroyed it. I ended up paying for it. Luckily I had Apple Care or whatever, so I got a new phone. It's a nice mount, but it would have been nice if they had done their proper R&D RAM mounts. Shit. Okay, we're on the Chuo Expressway. We got about a half hour. My job's at 12.30, so that'll give us time to grab a vending machine coffee. So right over here on the right is JRA, Japan Race Association. That's where they have the horse races. Huge stands. I've never been here. It looks like a blast. I bet you didn't know but there is a horse riding track in Tokyo, in the center of Tokyo. As you can imagine, it's not very big. People like dress up in their riding gear, the boots, sexy pants, and trot around in the middle of Tokyo on a horse. It's pretty cool. Full air suspension. That's what I look for in a truck. We're gonna take the Kunitachi Fuchu exit. I'm liking these pylons. Should we do a little slalom? What do you think? I'm gonna do a little slalom. Nobody's watching. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's watching. Woohoo. Yes, indeed. Should we do some more? Nobody's watching. Yeah, I like that. Woohoo. Oh, that was tight. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. This truck behind me thinks I'm freaking crazy. This is the way we go. Slalom courses are fun. I would like to take a motorcycle riding course just for some extra like safety things and making U-turns without putting your foot down, really tight U-turns. I think that'd be a blast. I just stop for a little water break. You don't have to go far out of Tokyo to really get a rural feel. We're about 20 clicks outside of Shinjuku West. And things get really kind of rural. And what the hell's going on here? And why am I not pulling up to the front like I usually do? There might be a railroad crossing there, actually. Oh, I see, it's a narrow road. It's two-way, but it's only one vehicle wide. How lame is that? I don't think we're in Tokyo anymore. This doesn't feel like Tokyo anymore, Toto. All right, we're close to Tachikawa. This is the, I think it's the Tama monorail above us. Shibasaki Taikukan Station. Doesn't sound like Tokyo at all, does it? So here's Tachikawa Station right here. We're gonna turn left. There's a really good Italian restaurant right around the corner here that's almost worth the trip to Tachikawa for. It's called Mother's. And man, they do really good food. Great pasta. It's a cool ambiance. It's pretty spacious and very reasonable at lunchtime. Really good eats. I'll point it out as we ride by. I said the jiggling baby. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. We'll look for Mother's. It's up here on the left. A lot of restaurants around here, actually. There's Mother's right there.
really good. All right, well, this concludes our ride to Tachikawa. I gotta get to my job. If you guys like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, keep me caffeinated, tank in the gas, you can buy me a cup of coffee. Details are in the description of this video. And uh, as always, thanks so much. Stay tuned for a lot more fun stuff coming. Beginning the first part of August, there's going to be a live stream palooza. I rented a camping car. And we're heading out of Tokyo. Looking very forward to that. And of course, other motor vlogs. Buy a motorcycle. Oh, and my new motorcycle's all ready. It's done. It's done. We're going to be revealing that very soon. So stay tuned. All the best guys ride carefully and I will do the same. It's time to go in here and chant Namu Shinyo Ichinyo or something like that.